Welcome back to launching a 3D printed product line to help me organize my pantry, starting with this spice rack. All right, in the last video, we found out that it was gonna cost us $22 in order to manufacture this 3D printed spice rack, which is just way too expensive by the time you factor in shipping. So here's what we're gonna do in order to cut that price down. Number one, we're going into the settings in Tinkercad and we're gonna set the width and the length of our build surface to 220 millimeters, which is the same dimensions as the 3D printer. Now we can fit as many products as possible on this build plate and we know they'll be able to print it. And unfortunately, if we print the product flat like this, it's going to only be able to fit one part on here. But if we can pivot the product 90 degrees and print it vertically, we're gonna be able to fit way more units. For example, now we can fit four units on the exact same build plate. And this is going to increase our total cost here, but it's gonna almost cut in half our per unit cost. So now we've got our first product design. We've got the cost to produce our first product. Now we need to figure out what we're gonna price it at. Follow along, we'll talk about it in the next video.